Diabetes is a chronic disease that occurs when the pancreas does not produce enough insulin or when the body cannot effectively use the insulin it produces. There are three main types of diabetes, type 1, type 2, and gestational diabetes. In type 1, it was previously known as insulin-dependent childhood onset or juvenile diabetes. It is characterized by a lack of insulin production and without daily administration of insulin, type 1 diabetes is rapidly fatal. Symptoms of type 1 DM are excessive excretion of urine, thirst, constant hunger, weight loss, vision changes, fatigue. The second type, which is type 2 diabetes, formerly called non-insulin dependent or childhood onset. This results from the body's ineffective use of insulin. Type 2 diabetes comprises 90% of people with diabetes all around the world. And it's largely re the result of excessive body weight and physical inactivity. Symptoms of type 2 DM are similar to type 1 diabetes but are often less marked. As a result, the disease may be undiagnosed several years after the onset once complications have arisen. The third type, which is gestational diabetes, is hyperglycemia or elevated blood sugar which is first recognized during pregnancy. It is a complication of pregnancy. Symptoms of gestational diabetes are similar to type 2 diabetes. It is most often diagnosed through prenatal screening rather than reported symptoms. There are features common to both type 1 and type 2, and these are thirst, excessive excretion of urine called polyuria, recurrent blurred vision, sensation of numbness, prickling, or tingling of the body, fatigue, and vaginal infections in women. There are several risk factors for diabetes, primarily of which are being overweight, and then there's hypertension, high cholesterol level, lack of exercise, family history of diabetes mellitus, being age 45 or older, women who have given birth to an infant weighing more than 9 pounds at birth, and being a member of a high-risk ethnic group, African American, Hispanic, or American Indian. Before people develop type 2 diabetes, they almost always have prediabetes. Prediabetes is when blood glucose levels are higher than normal, but not yet high enough to be diagnosed as diabetes. Research has shown that if you take action to manage your blood glucose when you have prediabetes, you can delay or prevent type 2 diabetes from ever developing. Complications of Diabetes There are several complications in type 1 diabetes, and these are heart disease, blindness, nerve damage, and kidney damage. Acute Complications of Diabetes Diabetic ketoacidosis, or otherwise called DKA, is a type of metabolic acidosis which occurs when there is an acute insulin deficiency or an inability to use whatever insulin the pancreas secretes. Clients who develop DKA often have a severe hard-to-control form of the disease. Occasionally, a client admitted to the hospital in DKA has undiagnosed diabetes. Other causes of this serious event that are infection and uncompliance with the treatment regimen. Symptoms of DKA are weakness, thirst, anorexia, vomiting, drowsiness, abdominal pain, flushed cheeks, dry mouth and skin, breath has an odor of acetone, weak and rapid pulse, cosmos respirations, low blood pressure, client may become unresponsive but restless. Hyperosmolar hyperglycemic nonketotic syndrome or otherwise called HHNKS is an acute complication of diabetes. It is characterized with hyperglycemia or increase in blood sugar with ketosis. Ketosis is metabolic acidosis resulting from an accumulation of ketones in the blood. In this disease, serum potassium and sodium levels are low. The symptoms of HHNKS are hypotension, mental changes, tachycardia, fever, and neurological signs such as paralysis, lethargy, coma, and seizures. Hypoglycemia is low blood glucose level. It is always a potential adverse reaction when administering medications for diabetes. It happens when too much insulin or hyperinsulinism is in the bloodstream relative to the amount of available glucose. Hypoglycemia usually occurs when a client with diabetes is number one, not eating at all and continues to take insulin or oral anti-diabetic medication. Number two, 
is not eating sufficient calories to compensate for glucose-lowering medication, and third is exercising more than usual, which lowers available glucose. The signs and symptoms of hypoglycemia are weakness, headache, nausea, drowsiness, nervousness, hunger, tremors, weakness, excessive perspiration, personality or behavior changes. Peripheral neuropathy. Neuropathy refers to pathologic changes in nerves. These changes can affect motor, sensory, and autonomic nerves. Neuropathies develop 10 or more years after the onset of diabetes, and it results from poor glucose control and decreased blood circulation to nerve tissue. Symptoms of peripheral neuropathy are pain, skeletal muscles in the extremities become smaller, the feet swell and become insensitive to temperature or other stimuli, disturbing sensations develop that are often intensified, by maintaining a position for an extended period. Diabetic nephropathy is the progressive decrease in kidney function. Clients with type 1 DM are most likely to develop diabetic neuropathy. The signs are swelling of the feet and hands and gradual increase in blood pressure. Diabetic retinopathy are pathological changes in the retina that are experienced by persons with diabetes. It usually develops 10 or more years after the onset of diabetes. It is a result of inadequately controlled glucose levels which cause vascular changes in the retina. There are two types of diabetic retinopathy. The first one, which is non-proliferative neuropathy, has milder manifestations. The second, which is proliferative neuropathy, or the more severe form which could lead to blindness, the damaged blood vessels are replaced with new ones that grow along the surface of the retina. These newer blood vessels are fragile and tend to rupture and leak into the vitreous, or the gel-like fluid that fills the back of the eye. The inelastic scar tissue form, which alters the shape of the retina and causes distorted vision, and pulls at the retina, increasing the potential for retinal detachment. Vascular disturbances. Vascular refers to the blood vessels. Clients with diabetes are more susceptible to accelerated atherosclerotic and arteriosclerotic changes. The signs of vascular disturbances are hands and feet or the extremities are pale and cool, leg cramps, gangrene, skin ulcers, chest discomfort, an MI or heart attack.